Good morning all. I am Angela Joseph, faculty of QAQC in Textual Inspection Services. Today let's discuss about the topic ultrasonic pulse velocity testing. This method is mainly used to find the interior hardness of convex surface. Now let's get into the instrument. This is the instrument and it consists of a convex tester which shows the time in microseconds and there will be a transducer. It consists of a transmitter and a receiver probe and there will be a calibration board to calibrate the instrument periodically. And this method is based on the principle that a transducer can be used to convert one form of energy into another. When uh, using this transformer, we will pass longitudinal waves within the concrete surface and the receiver receives the waves after passing through the concrete surface. This, the time required to travel the waves through the concrete surface is noted and obtained from this rate meter in microseconds. And using this time, we can calculate velocity using the equation. Velocity is equal to distance by time. That is, uh, we know the distance, it can be measured directly and the time is given by this instrument and then we can calculate the velocity. This is based on the principle that uh, the ultrasonic waves while passing through the concrete will be affected by the presence of holes and cracks. They can't transfer through air. They need some material to get transfer. Therefore, uh, their transmission will be affected by the density of the material, presence of aggregates, presence of reinforcement bar, moisture content, etc. This method is mainly used for fat filling by epoxy injection. For that, we have to use, first of all, we have to calibrate the instrument of an uncrack and cracked surface of the concrete. Then, after that, we can get the readings directly from the cracked surface. Several readings are taken and the average value is taken. And then after epo epoxy filling, the experiment is repeated and whether uh, the readings of you know, the calibration as well as the cracking reading are different, we have to fill the crack uh, once more so that the crack is not properly filled uh, layer previously. There are three methods for using this instrument. Direct method, indirect method and semi-direct method. First of all, let's know which is the direct method. Now, this is the direct method. The direct method, we are placing the transmitter and receiver in this manner on either side of the concrete structure to be tested. Thus, from the transmitter, waves pass through the concrete and get received at the receiver and the value uh, for the time due of the transmission is obtained from the instrument itself. And the distance is measured from this edge to this edge. Thus, we get the time as well as distance and from this velocity can be calculated. Next method is indirect method. In indirect method, we will place the transmitter and receiver in this manner, that is on the same face of the concrete surface. Here the distance measured is between, this, distance between the center of these two props and the time is got from this ultrasonic pulse velocity meter. Thus we get the velocity by using the same equation. And the next method is semi-direct method. Next one is semi-direct method. Here we are placing the transmitter and receiver in this manner. Thus, the distance is obtained from the center to the edge of each transmitter and receiver. That is, here this distance is measured and this distance is measured. Using the hypotenuse theory, we get the diagonal distance and thus we get the distance. And the time has been got from this instrument itself. Thus, we get the velocity by using the equation. This velocity is equal to distance by time. Now, using this velocity values, we can get the quality of concrete from the chart provided. That is, for higher values of velocity, we can know that the concrete quality is very poor and lower values shows that concrete quality is very good. Thus, we can find the interior hardness property of the concrete using this instrument. Here, we are using a transducer. Transducer consists of a transmitter as well as a receiver through which they, can, they are used to convert one form of energy into another. And before placing the transmitter directly into the uh, concrete surface, we have to put some coupling over the surface so that effective transmission of waves takes place. This coupling can be used for the effective transmission as well as to avoid the vacuum between the concrete surface and the probe of the transducer. We can use coupling like grease, oil, etc. That's all about ultrasonic pulse velocity. Thank you.